Hey guys, Ryan here. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down what I think is the best sniper class, the best sniper, and the best sniper support, and pretty much everything in between. If you guys enjoyed the video, maybe consider leaving a like, maybe consider subscribing, and uh, let's get into it. The first gun and the first sniper support I really wanna talk about is gonna be the striker with the build you're currently seeing in the background. Now, I'm gonna recommend the striker for most people, but there might be a couple other sniper supports that might be better for your play style. The main thing the striker excels in is its damage up close, but also in the mid range. And the other thing it's really good at is it has the best mobility of any sniper support I'm gonna talk about in this video, and I value that very high. So that's why for me, and I think if you're a more aggressive player, the striker is gonna be perfect for you. I also think one of the best parts about it is it has a super, super easy to control recoil, and that's something that's gonna benefit the vast majority of the players, regardless if you're mouse and keyboard or on controller. The other part about it I really like is the 48 round mag. Because of the high damage and the low rate of fire, that 48 round mag goes a long way and is gonna allow you to take on two to three people with ease. Now, to talk about some of the cons and some of the more negative sides of the gun, I find that oftentimes it lacks just a little oomph in the mid range when you're fighting something like the Ram 7. And the other part about it is, is the iron sights are terrible and you pretty much need to dedicate an attachment to using a sight and that's something I don't like about a lot of guns. But really, aside from the fact that it's going to lose some mid range battles to some better guns and the fact that it's bad iron sights, this gun really does not have that many cons and it's overall probably my number one pick for the best sniper support to use right now. And that's gonna lead me into the second gun I wanna talk about, and that's gonna be the SVA 545. Now, I just started using this thing today, pretty much, and it instantly jumped up my whole sniper support list. It kind of messed it up. I almost thought about putting it number one, but I'm still gonna give the lead to the striker for the average player. But I think the main benefit about the SVA is it's kind of like a combination between the Ram 7, which is going to be the third gun I'm going to talk about, and the Striker. It has good damage in the mid-range. It has good damage up close. It has good mobility, easy to use recoil. But, you know, it's not as good as the Ram 7 in the mid-range. It's not as good as the Striker up close. It's kind of a balanced, a hybrid of the two. And I think that's what I like about it so much. It's a very versatile gun. It gives you a ton of options. And, you know, I talked about that whole mobility thing. And I think that's another reason I love this gun. Now, I do have to talk about a huge downside, but a huge benefit with this gun. So the first three or four bullets of this gun fire faster than the rest of the bullets that you fire. So if you continuously hold down the trigger in your gunfights and your first shots aren't accurate, you're gonna lose a lot of gunfights and you're gonna lose a lot of damage and that is a major problem. However, on the flip side, if you have good pre-aiming skills, if your first shots are accurate, that's when you're gonna get this really good feeling time to kill, and that's when this gun really, really shines. It's one of those guns that really, really rewards you for being an accurate and a skilled player, but it's not a gun you need to be skilled to use. I don't know if that makes sense, but it rewards good fundamentals without having a super high skill cap, like the next gun we're gonna talk about after this, the Ram 7. The reasons you would choose to use the SVA 545 is because you're looking for something that's good in the mid range, decent up close and has pretty manageable recoil. If you're looking for something really, really good up close, use the striker. If you're looking for something that has a little bit more damage than the SVA, use the Ram 7. And that's what we're gonna get into next with the third gun we're gonna talk about, the Ram 7. I'm gonna end up keeping this section shorter than the rest because I've already in a way covered everything you need to know about this gun. This gun really excels in its mid-range damage. It has more damage than the SVA. It's a little bit more skill-based though because it has heftier recoil. It's not as forgiving as the SVA. It's not as forgiving as the Striker. And it's more of one of those guns where I don't think the average player is gonna love it. But if you try this thing, if you love the feel, if you can control the recoil and you see the damage, you probably should use the Ram 7. I just think the average player might be better off using the Striker or the SVA. If I'm being honest, this Ram 7 is lethal. And that's pretty much all you need to know. If you like this gun, if you can use it, if you can hang with it and you like the whole feel about it, use it over probably any other option on this list unless you're really missing out on the mobility. But if I'm being honest, 
what is the entire point of talking about a sniper support class if I don't show you guys what sniper I'm using and talk about the different sniper options and yada yada. So this build is meant to have a little bit faster ADS, which I prefer because I do like to kind of quote unquote quick scope, although the cat doesn't really have that capability. So you can change this build up a little bit. If you wanted to add some more bolt velocity for those long range snipes, definitely feel free to do so by adding a barrel and taking off the laser. But overall, I found that this build is pretty much everything I want. It's super stable, it has good bolt velocity, but it has decent handling for a sniper that's as heavy as the cat is. Now, this doesn't mean there aren't other snipers to use. In fact, the FJX Imperium, or whatever it's called from Modern Warfare 2, is really, really good actually. The only issue is to make it a one shot, you have to have the explosive rounds and those explosive rounds destroy the bolt velocity so much, it's pretty much not worth using. But right now guys, I have to highly recommend to snipe and there's a couple reasons why and I wanna talk about them now. Because they nerfed guns like the MTZ Interceptor, they nerfed the Bass B, the ridiculous burst ARs that were out, now the long range meta is full of guns that either don't do a lot of damage at long range if they have low recoil or if they do a lot of damage they come with a lot of recoil especially at the ranges you want to use a sniper. So what this means is in the vast majority of your gunfights as long as you're taking them between 50 and 100 meters you are going to outright have the advantage. See before when you have the ridiculous burst ARs you have these ridiculously overpowered guns that weren't nerfed you didn't have the advantage as a sniper. But now after those guns are nerfed and all of the other long range options for ARs and LMGs are left standing, now you have a massive advantage using the sniper just looking at the raw data and the way these guns perform. I think the toughest part about sniping right now is the mid range. After the last patch, the Ram 7 and the SVA are commonly used as meta long range assault rifles because pretty much the same exact thing that makes them a great sniper support, their good mid-range damage, makes them a great mid-range or long-range AR, especially for more aggressive players, and especially for people who can control the recoil and build their guns to have less recoil overall. And what this means is that's why I really like the Striker and Ram 7 as a sniper support, and even the SVA. But the reason why is because, well, your build is gonna beat them between zero and 10 meters and zero and 20 meters because it probably should have more mobility, easier to use at those ranges, yada, yada. But their build is gonna beat you between 20 and 50 meters. That's it. In the close range, you're gonna have the advantage. In the long range, you're gonna have the advantage. And the only place they're gonna be able to beat you is the mid range. And that's why I think sniping is so good, especially with this sniper and sniper support combo. It's been Ryan, hope you guys enjoyed the video, peace.